In this video, I want to discuss and demonstrate the link monitor and how it works. But before we do that, I want to demonstrate the problem the link monitor actually solves for us. We are going to configure two default routes to the internet via 10.10.11.254 and 10.10.12.254. Config router, static. We set our device is going to be port one and the gateway is going to be 10.10.11.254. And this one being the primary is going to be more preferred. I'm not going to modify the administrative distance. Instead, I'm going to modify the priority. So set priority to five. We have our three lines of config, our gateway, our priority, and the exit interface. We do the same thing with the secondary, de uh, secondary device. Set device to port 2, and our gateway here is going to be 10.10.12.254, and the priority is going to be .10. Now let's check our routing table, get router info routing table or and yes we now have our two default static routes via 10.10.11 and 10.10.12 now let's check our internet connectivity exec ping 1.1.1.1 and we do have internet connection via 1.1.1.1 but let's verify which link our traffic took to get to 1.1.1 exec trace route 1.1.1.1 it went via 10.10.11.254. What I want to do is on R1, I'm going to shut down the Gigabit Ethernet 00 interface. Interface GI00 and turn that into a shutdown state. That interface is down. Now let's see if I can ping that uh, 254 IP address. Exact ping 10.10.11.254. Our internet connection is down and our secondary link is not kicking in. Let's check our, our routing table. Get router info. Routing table. And as you can see, the path via 10.10.11.254 is still installed in the route table. It stays there even though the interface is down. This is exactly where the link monitor can, can help us. Now what I'm going to do is unshut that interface and then we're going to configure our, our link monitor. So on FortiGate, we go config system link monitor. Because we have two links here, we have primary and secondary. That's what I'm going to call them. I'm going to configure primary, just call that PRI. And then I'm going to associate the interface to port one. It's just named port two in this case because our management interface is taking port one. So this is port one. So set. Set source interface to port 1. Set source IP to 10.10.11.1. What is the server that we want to, the destination that we want to test with? S server would be, let's say, 8.8.8.8. .8 and without doing anything else, if we would type get to try and have a look at the full config that's available. Uh, we've only got three lines of config, but there are some default settings that have been defined already for us. And for me, for this lab, um, th this is good enough. I'm not going to modify anything further. And so now let's move on to configure our second one. And this would be secondary. Here we define our interface. Set source interface. This will be port 2. Set source IP would be 10.10.12.1 set server um, this one I'm going to make to 1.1.1.1 it is important to note though that you don't necessarily have to specify only one server you can specify more than one server in fact I'm going to specify here 8.8.4.4 uh, meaning two servers and when we have a look at our config we have only three lines of config and that's actually all we need. 
I'm going to exit out of that. And now that we've got our IPSLA or our link monitor config, now you need to be able to verify and check um, the status of your, your probes. And to do that, you go diagnose system link monitor status. And we want to look at primary, the one that we called PRI. And there you can see all the details. You can see um, information about the link latency, jitter, packet loss. And actually, the way the FortiGate will calculate latency and jitter is based if we go back to this output over here. FortiGate is going to look at the probe count. It's going to look at the last 30 pings that were sent to 8.8.8. Fortigate is going to look at the performance of those pings to make up and calculate the latency jitter and the packet loss and it's going to use that over here. And later on I'm going to simulate a uh, I'm going to inject latency and um, packet loss on the link and then we'll see how the the link monitor behaves. So now let's check our route table. Get router info. Routing table all our two routes are still in the route table. Exec ping 1.1.1. And we still do have internet connectivity via 1.1.1.1. But what I want to try and do is shut down this interface again. And after the interface goes down, then let's have a look at our route table. The interface is down. Now let's check that route table again. And immediately we can see that we no longer have the route in the route table. That link is now being removed from the route table. And the secondary link via R2 has been able to jump in and provide services for us. And that's why now we're able to ping again. Let's ping to 1.1.1.1. And we have reachability and um, automatic failover through the use of link monitor. So you might be asking yourself, so what happens if you shut down Geek00 on R2? Let's do that. Config T, interface GI00. Shut. Let's check our route table now. And now because there's no path via either R1 or R2, both links are dead. The FortiGate has actually now removed both from the route table. And this is what we want. I'm going to bring back the interfaces. No shut. And instead what I'm going to do on R1, I'm going to introduce some packet loss and latency basically to make this this link very poor. Our two routes are still there, but let's check the status of our link monitor. Diagnose system link monitor status. We want to look at the primary. And here we can see that we're experiencing 15% packet loss. At 61% packet loss, the link is dead. Now let's have a look at our route table. Get router info. Routing table all. And indeed, that link has been removed. And it's not because the link is down, but because the link has got such bad performance and bad quality that, uh, that the link monitor has removed it from the route table. Let me know if this is something that you've already been using or if this is something that you are keen to try put into your environment. Until next time, thank you for watching.